السلام علیکم رمضان مبارک ٹو آل آف یو ٹو ڈے از اے بگ ڈے ان دی ہسٹری آف اور کمیونٹی الحمد للہ and also a big day for region of Waterloo and Canada. Uh, it is such an honor to welcome our Right Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Justin Trudeau, and all our respected guests and all of you during this holy month of Ramadan. The Islamic Center of Cambridge was established uh, during 1980 in the month of Ramadan with a vision to provide services to our community and integra integrate ourselves with the community at large. The ICC now is a very prestigious, well-known organization in Canada and throughout the world. We enjoy wonderful relations with all churches, YMCA, Mennonite community, our Jewish, Jewish community, uh, our police department, Cambridge Hospital, Food Bank, and all others. Uh, when I said police, I think uh, my friend, Mr. Brian Larkin, uh, he's there. I, I want to invite him and, and uh, we have a request that your next passing parade should be here like you did two decades before in the basement. So now we have a big place that you can have your passing prayer, inshallah. Okay. Um, we appreciate our community trust, all of your trust to reach here and to accomplish a lot to build this beautiful center. The ICC now, for your information, is the biggest center from Mississauga to Windsor, okay? Uh, we, we thank to Mr. Trudeau for a recent $100,000 donation. For the security grant, and also every year for senior citizen grant, and the summer student jobs. We really thank you very much. We, I'm just going to finish soon. We also want to recognize state of Kuwait to help us accomplish and build all this place for the major funding. Thank you very much. Uh, our school, our school was rated best among 3,044 schools, elementary schools in Ontario during 2017, which is a great accomplishment. I would like to thank all of the participants. We respectfully want to bring to the attention of our Prime Minister that there is no funding from any level of government and this is just in Ontario, okay, where we live. Other provinces do get funding from the government to run the school, and uh, this makes it really, really hard for us. Uh, we request our Honorable Prime Minister to assist us in school funding. Also, please declare our two events, Eid events, as statutory holidays. We really request you. Uh, and at the end, I'd like to assure our Honorable Prime Minister and all the respected guests that the Islamic Center of Cambridge Management and our community is fully committed to be an active partner in the development and growth of Canada. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I couldn't resist. Thank you. Uh, I am here to, uh, to welcome our special guest, but before I do that, I, we have so many uh, invitees here today that I, I have to mention. Uh, of course, uh, behind me, I am, we're joined, I'm honored to be joined uh, by members of Parliament, uh, Bardish Chagger, the Honourable Bardish Chagger, Tim Lewis, Val Bradford, uh, the President of the Treasury Board, Minister Mona Forche is with us today. Uh, we're also very lucky to be joined today by Mayor Catherine McGarry, Mayor Sue Foxton, Regional Chair Karen Redman, Chief of Police Brian Larkin, and Regional, Regional Councillor uh, Carl Kiefer is here with us today as well. Thank you all for taking the time uh, to be here and joining, joining with us in this amazing Ramadan celebration today. And a huge special thank you to the board, to Mr. Malik. Your team was absolutely amazing. I have to tell you all here today, this has been put together within about 48 hours. And so thank you to, to, to you and your team for everything, for, in, for being able to, uh, yes, definitely for being able to, to welcome the person that I, I have the absolute pleasure and honor to introduce, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. Assalamu alaikum. Bonjour. Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, everyone. What a, what a pleasure and a privilege it is for me to be with you here in this uh, beautiful new gym, in this beautiful school of which you should be all very, very proud. Thank you so much for that incredibly warm welcome. I want to begin by thanking my friend Brian May, who has the honor of uh, serving and representing you in the House of Commons. I want to uh, thank my dear friends, uh, Tim, uh, Mona, Valerie, and uh, Bardish for being here uh, as well. And I really want to thank the leadership of this uh, school and community, uh, Dr. Kokar, uh, de, de, de Mr. Dar, uh, Imam Kabar, uh, Mr. Malik, and the entire board. Thank you for everything you've contributed, not just uh, to this extraordinary Muslim uh, community and community center and school, but also to the larger community uh, of, uh, of Cambridge and Kitchener-Waterloo. Uh, it is uh, amazing to see how strong uh, you are in contributing to making uh, this corner of the country, and indeed this country is all uh, so much better. I, uh, I was deeply privileged uh, to be able to visit uh, with some of these brilliant young minds a little early, and I have to tell you, it reminds me very much of my years as a teacher. And I can say, you know, having been a teacher, but also especially having been a substitute teacher uh, for quite a while, I can tell you, as soon as you walk into a school, as soon as you encounter some of the kids, you get a feel for the kind of community it is, the kind of culture, the kind of attentiveness, the kind of energy that is put out. And I have to say, I am not the least bit surprised that this school has been regularly found as being uh, one of uh, the greatest schools in Canada, because the energy here is wonderful. Congratulations to all your teachers and leadership. Thank you, too, for welcoming me during the holy month of Ramadan. I know uh, with uh, uh, fasting and uh, reflections that you're having, it's uh, difficult perhaps to pull together a big event like this last minute, but it is uh, a deep privilege for me to be able to join with you in this month of reflection, of sacrifice, of thinking about how we are all connected and how we commit ourselves every day to serving to a better world. And that uh, is, makes it an appropriate time for us to gather. As we reflect on the past two years that we've had, I think there is reason for us to be celebrating uh, the fact that 
Canadians, not just in this community, but across the country, came together to support each other, to be there for each other through the difficult years of the pandemic. People made sacrifices. People stepped up to support each other, be there for neighbors, to be there for our most vulnerable, to be there uh, for, uh, for you know, our frontline health workers. And Canadians saw each other through this pandemic uh, better than anyone could have imagined. But it was still really difficult, particularly for you kids who, instead of being able to you know, go outside and play with friends the way you'd want to, instead of going to birthday parties and sleepovers, uh, you had to do your homework by the kitchen table. You had to do extra work to help out mom and dad when they were working at home. Uh, this was a difficult year, and all of you as kids made real sacrifices. And you are part of the reason why we got through this well, because you were great. So I want all the adults in the room to right now give a huge round of applause to all the amazing kids who are here. You guys, you guys are inspiring. And for the rest of your lives, you will remember this time of pandemic as a time where, yes, we gathered with families, but also where you learned that what you do as an individual matters to the entire community, the entire world. Every time you washed your hands, every time you wore a mask, every time you stayed safe and stayed home, you were making things better for your neighbors. You were sacrificing for the good of all. And that lesson that you learned through this pandemic, even as you did miss out on all sorts of things that we're going to try and get back as quickly as possible. You also developed a sense of community and strength through that isolation of what really matters that is going to serve us all as a country in the coming years. Because the story of Canada is a story of people coming together to build, to create a future for themselves, for their neighbors, for their community. And you can't talk about the success of Canada, the things we do well, the things we do better than any other place in the world, without talking about the success of our diversity. The fact that people come to Canada from every corner of the world with every different background you can imagine and are there not just for their own community, but for all of their neighbors is something that makes us richer and better as a country than just about any other place in the world. Because if you think about it, you don't learn the most from someone who's just like you. You have a friend who grew up on the same street as you, two doors down, has the same kind of family background as you, and you like to sit, play the same games, you have a great time together with that friend, but you don't necessarily learn a lot of new things. Where we learn new things, where we challenge ourselves, where we become better, is when we learn from people who are different from us. And that's been the story of success of Canada. That's been the story of success of this community. And when I think of what the Muslim community has brought to Canada over the years, the way you have contributed in innumerable ways, yes, with extraordinary institutions like the Muslim, uh, the Cambridge Islamic Centre, but also uh, the way you've contributed to the entire country, we are all better off for it. And Canada can continue to grow and learn and be better with that. But at the same time as we recognize our successes, we have to think that it hasn't always been easy. And Canada hasn't always been as open and welcoming as we should be. And quite frankly, over the past few years, partly because of the pandemic, partly because of divisions in some of our politics, there have been uh, a little more anger a little more intolerance than I think we need to see in Canada. 
So that's where everyone needs to come together and stand together and be there for each other and listen and learn from each other and above all, fight to respect each other, to be there for each other. And I know that this generation of young people, all of you kids, get that. You understand how important it is to open yourselves up to the world while at the same time being proud of who you are and where you're from. And in Canada, there's no contradiction there. You get to be Canadian, full stop, regardless of your background, of your story, of where you were born, or where your parents were born. And that's one of the amazing things about this country that we need to cherish and we need to protect. And that's what this extraordinary school and this great community of Cambridge with all its amazing leaders in the region and all these community leaders on the other side of me, that's what we are dedicated to. Continuing to look to build a better future in which everyone belongs. Et c'est pas facile. Il n'y a rien d'automatique. Nous nous devons de toujours rester vigilants et prêts à se défendre les uns les autres contre l'intolérance et la haine. Mais je sais que nous allons pouvoir le faire. So as a government, we will continue to be there to support Muslim Canadians, to support Canadians of all backgrounds and more to make sure that the life we are building for each other in this country has all the opportunities, all the chances, all the potential fulfilled that we know everyone wants to bring to bear. So I am deeply grateful for the opportunity to be with you here today. I say thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Merci, mes amis.